Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Uh, this is Ed. Thank you again for tuning in. Really excited to do a real short video on going a little bit more in depth into this new to-do list feature on the Supernote. Uh, one thing that I felt I didn't quite do service to it when I pushed uh, the beta kind of, uh, hey, wait, look at all this cool stuff that came out. Uh, and I kind of mentioned that I didn't think it was enabled already to share across devices. Uh, that's not the case. So Supernote did have that enabled, but you had to go into the device settings and you'll find the instructions below in the in the description. But all you had to do was go in and turn on a toggle. And basically that allows the data sharing to happen between if you have multiple devices uh, or if you're using an Android phone or your desktop, if you're using Windows. Right now, the beta is only available on Windows and on Android. Uh, so I do want to throw that out there. They are working on updating the iOS app. They're working on creating a desktop app for both Linux and Mac OS. But I wanted to be clear and I don't think that came through clearly when I talked about the beta the other day. In this video, though, what we're going to do is we're going to dig in a little bit to the to-do app, and we're going to show how quick that functionality really works. It's amazing how fast you can add a to-do in one place, and it'll show up on the other devices, especially if you add it directly into the Supernote. And it's almost instantaneous, so it's pretty cool. Without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump in and I will see you after the demo. All right, so here we are and I wanted to show you all three of these side by side. Now, eventually the cloud app will have uh, to-dos as well. But right now that's just working in the background to sync everything. Uh, and obviously since this is a beta release, you can't have that out there in the cloud for those not on the beta. So I think it's really important and I think it's smart what Supernode is doing here by allowing us to be able to test all of these features ahead of time. But I, I kind of rushed the beta a little bit the other day uh, just to get the information out there. Uh, I really was excited about some of these new features, uh, but I didn't truly understand everything going into it yet. So I wanted to show you just how powerful this beta is on the to-do feature because this is a feature that's really kind of interesting and um, I think a game changer for a lot of people. It wasn't something I was asking for. I did think the idea of integrating the the Outlook tasks or the, the Google uh, to-do function would have been really really good. This may be something that's even better, especially if down the road they're able to integrate those in some way. But whether or not they are, this function in and of itself and the way it can be used both as a connected thing or as something that's standalone just living on the device is, is just really interesting. So right now, uh, I wanted to show all of these side by side. So if you look over here on the right, you will see that uh, my super note is here. This is my A6X2 Nomad. And that lets you see the current to-dos. You'll also notice on the other part of the screen, in the middle, you have the Supernote uh, phone app for Android, desktop app, which is this one on the other side here. What you'll see across these three devices right now, my computer is here to the left, and then you have my phone displayed on the screen as well. And then you have the Supernote device here on the right. And all of these to-dos match. And what's really cool about that is right now, if I decide, let's say I want to add a task in my phone, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and use the on-screen keyboard. So new phone task. And I'll hit send. Now that immediately shows up here in the middle. 
And what you'll see is when this syncs here in just a minute, there's the inbox. So I sent that right away. And next time the device for the super note syncs, which it is set for auto sync, but I'm going to go ahead and force it uh, just because if you do something on the device right away, it'll force the sync. Otherwise, it, it's on a set pattern, and I'm not exactly sure how quickly that works. But you can see right here that the new phone task showed right up. Now we'll go ahead and try that same process on the super note. And we'll put in new nomad task. Let that populate. And I'll go ahead and date this one. And actually, let's put it on the 30th. And we'll say OK. OK. And now that task is here. And if you look, immediately it showed up on my phone and it showed up on the desktop app. It is that fast. And so it's a very quick way to add things seamlessly between these devices. And, and what's interesting about that and why I didn't know about it is because, quite frankly, I, I skipped reading the part that told you exactly how to enable that. And so it's, it's very clear in the directions how you enable it. And I'll put them down in the description below. But I wanted to, to take just these couple of minutes to show you that primarily because I think that the way I rushed through it the first time the other day, I said it wasn't quite ready. That wasn't the case. Rada had this ready. I just didn't know where the toggle was to enable it. So hopefully this is uh, helpful. Uh, and again, when you tick these off, and we'll go ahead and do that real quick. So I'll tick those two that we just created off. And what you'll see is here in just a second, as a matter of fact, it already updated on both devices. So it really is that fast. If you're on your computer and you have your super note there to the side or you want to use your keyboard to capture those tasks. The last thing I want to show really quickly is this idea that you have uh, that link between the notebook and between the to-do list. For example, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to select this task and I am going to turn that into a to-do. And again, you'll see that comes right over. And I'm going to go ahead and add that. When I add that, it's going to automatically be added to the inbox. Again, you should see that pop up in just a second. And there it is, already in the mobile app and the desktop app. Now, one thing they haven't quite done with the mobile app yet, but I think will probably be coming, is this idea of now you see both here in the super note and in the desktop app, you see the little notebook right here. What's cool about that is now I can click in the desktop app and it takes me directly to that note. And then from there, I can export this just like you would on the super note. So they're really making this as seamless as possible between these. And you'll notice if you watch here on the super note, it does that same functionality. And here, there's also here at the bottom, this re easy return to get back to the to-do list. So in some ways, this goes back to what Kit and I did when we were talking about using the calendar as kind of a home screen. And I don't know that this is quite to that level, but you can go directly from here to the notes that are in your to-do list if you're using that as uh, kind of your handwritten notes and then converting them later. Now, again, that's only for things that you do that handwriting conversion. Maybe at some point Rada will bring out a thing so you can tag notes so you can have the task entered in, just typed in, but then tag a note to it. 
I don't know that that's where they're going, but I just wanted to say that that's a possibility to show how quick it is to be able to move one of these tasks. If you right click in the desktop version, you can move this to one of your folders that you've decided to have. You can pick a date. Uh, you can do all of those functions. On the phone, same thing, only it's a hard press. I don't think I can show that here because I'm having to use my mouse to navigate this, but if you hard press on this and hold, it'll turn into a selectable box and then you can move it. And on the SuperNote itself, if you hold, again, now it's very easy to move this note wherever you want it to be. All right, so there you have it. I will see you in a minute for a quick recap. Hey everyone, welcome back. Hopefully that was useful to you. Hopefully there's something that you can pull out of that and you can kind of see how this function can really work uh, in multiple ways. You know, one thing about this idea of intentional technology or intentional tech that I've been kind of bantering about is being able to fit as many different, and I know the term use cases is overutilized, that's really what we're talking about. So as many different styles or as many different organizational methods as you can. And in Supernote on Reddit has gotten a little bit of pushback on this idea of implementing the to-do instead of enhancing other features that they may have already implemented. But I think when you're looking at the Supernote as both a device that can be connected and a device that can be disconnected, then it's really important to think through what that means. So for example, the calendar, you don't have to have Google Calendar. You don't have to have uh, Outlook. You don't have to have any kind of uh, tied in device or cloud service to be able to use that standalone on the device. And that's really kind of cool. So you can replicate a paper planner and have that enhanced with note linking, the most commonly used notes, recently accessed notes. All of that functionality exists now, but all of that you can do natively in the super node. And then if you want to keep it off the grid, you don't have to enable Wi-Fi, you don't have to enable Bluetooth, uh, or you only keep it connected to your home Wi-Fi and use it for specific things. But the to-do function works that same way. You don't have to have a cloud service. You don't have to have something else to be able to use the to-do function. That can be a completely self-contained um, method for you to now be able to have daily tasks and a calendar and basically replace that paper planner uh, in most respects, and it's getting really close to being able to do that in a really uh, cool way uh, and then act more as a true planning system versus having to keep it all in one large note or create all of these links everywhere. Instead, you may be able to do it from a central hub like your calendar or a to-do list to really keep yourself organized. Anyway, thank you again for all of the support. Uh, this has been great. These last couple of days, I've seen a lot of traffic on the channel. Uh, it's really helped me to kind of find the, find the rhythm, I think, of what is most interesting, uh, at least in the moment. So please like, subscribe, continue to talk in the comment section. I love questions. I love contributions. If you're seeing something that I'm not in the beta, or if you want to get content on something else, uh, the best way to do that is to put that down in a comment, and then I reply as quickly as I can, and we can keep that conversation going. Uh, so again, thank you all so much, and I will talk to you soon.